Ion is getting a new update, Ion 8.3, and with this update, many new changes are coming to the game, including Arena of Chaos and Arena of Cooperation, playable on completely new way. Also, for release of this new update, we are getting back one of the best events of Ion ever created, Sprint Character Event, in which you can instantly level up your character to level 80 and get some gear and other useful items. Let's check together official patch notes of new update Ion 8.3. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more MMORPG videos in the future. As you can see, I already have here in front of me official patch notes, so let's check them out. Update 8.3, looking nice, lots of changes looks like. Let's scroll a little bit down to show you most interesting changes. So I will not turn this into reading session, I will not read to you every sentence of these patch notes in front of me, because this will take like one hour probably, I will just show you most interesting changes. First we have here changes to Avsaranta, changed the corpse of the Ilios and Asmodian factions in Avsaranta, changed some agents and corpse of the Ilios and Asmodians in Avsaranta, added a new corpse quest. Also we are getting here a new world raid. This raid appears 12 hours after the Adad raid ends. And you can check details here, you can see here location of the new world raid. So this is very interesting addition here regarding gameplay of Ion in 2022. So new world raid. Let's go a little bit down to show you most interesting things. Instances, dungeons, change the number of weekly entrances for the following dungeons. So lots of changes here I would say, but I wouldn't say something groundbreaking, a little bit of change regarding uh, entry, depending do you have gold pack or not. Let's go a little bit down to show you most interesting, exciting thing. Fortress Battle, if you are playing Sieges in Ion, then check this schedule here. They have adjust a little bit times for Fortress Battle, I didn't see any kind of big change again here, but they have changed a little bit schedule. But now let me show you this. Boys and girls, this is something really exciting. Hero Battle, let's check it out. Added Hero Battle, where you can choose one of the 12 heroes to use in battle. So basically each of these heroes is one class of Ion. You will recognize here different classes of Ion, but what are actually Hero Battle? You can register your hero battle via the entry request battlefield button. Hero battle takes place in arena of chaos. Up to 8 players from level 1. So you are entering arena of chaos equal with other opponents. This is absolutely amazing. And this here, arena of chaos. I remember in the past I have played so much arena of chaos on my gladiator. It was a really amazing experience. But back then, Arena of Chaos, well, you were entering with your character, your real character inside. So with all the gear which you have, right? So it was not equal. So it was not only about skill. It was about skill to some point, but it was mostly about gear. Because if you would encounter some opponents which doesn't have that much good gear, then you would crush that opponents really fast, because you have much better geared character. However, now you can see here, it will be about skill. Then we have also Arena of Cooperation. Hero Battles also takes place in Arena of Cooperation. Up to 9 players, 3 teams from level 1. So what is interesting here, before that Arena of Cooperation was two teams of three players, right? Now it's nine players, that means three teams of three players. This sounds really good, I have to say. And this is actually really good idea from developers of the game to make this about skill, not about the gear. So it doesn't matter what kind of gear have you managed to collect on your character, when you're entering this arena, not only arena of coop, also arena of chaos, everybody will be equal to some point. And it will be about your skill, not about the gear. So I had to try this, especially arena of chaos, because like I said in the past, I had so much fun on my gladiator playing arena of chaos. It was amazing experience. Gladi was always a strong class in Arena of Chaos, but now I will need to pick one of these heroes, one of these classes, and play with that class inside, right? 
The days on which you can take part in Arena of Chaos and Arena of Coop are, so we have here schedule. Of course, they needed to make some kind of schedule for entry to Arena of Coop and Arena of Chaos, because on this way, you'll not wait too long time for entry. What else do we have here? So here we have description how you will be able to adjust your hero before you enter that arenas, right? So you can see here shortcuts and quick bars configured in Arena Chaos Corporation can be saved as a file and used. We have here address. The skill stats of some classes have been adjusted in the hero battlefield, of course. Hero battle features the following for your hero selection. The assemble class stigma skill selection button has been added to the hero selection window. Adjusted chain skills can be saved for each hero. Okay, this is interesting. If entry to the battlefield fails due to combat or death, re-entry button is displayed. What else do we have here? When participating in Arena of Chaos Coop, heroes trophies are awarded according to rank. So we have here different kind of rewards according to rank. First place, second place, up to seventh place in arena of chaos and in arena of coop we have from first place to third place hero's trophies can be exchanged by ilios in the ingison illusion fortress and by osmodians in gelpmer's fortress for useful items from the battlefield briefing officer and for abyss points from the logbook so we will check that useful items of course after release of new update and for sure i will let you know how does it feel this gameplay especially within arena of chaos i need to try that and maybe even arena of coop let's go forward so at least for me this is most interesting part of these new patch notes this uh, system here new system hero battle regarding arena of chaos and arena of cooperation let's go a little bit down to here oh this is interesting battlefield remove the following battlefields and arenas let's see what they have removed kamar battlefield really they have removed kamar oh kamar is one really old battlefield uh long time existing in the game i i can't tell you how much runs i have in kamar hundreds thousands i don't know i had lots of fun within kamar let's say a few years back runatorium another pvp well pvp pve battlefield very interesting one they have removed that illuminel raging valley nevid canyon really they have also removed nevid canyon this is interesting genesis battle arena golden crucible free versus free dredgen and arena cooperation old one right used before 8.3 so they have actually removed come on they have removed lots of battlefields here uh i would say kamar raging valley nevid canyon and runatorium these were one of the main battlefields uh, of iron right so this is a huge change this is a huge change what else do we have here matching system improve the entry method for instances okay they are improving that missions remove the following logbook missions this is also something new. They have removed uh, following missions due to change in the entry number for Heroin Mine. So Heroin Mine still remains, looks like that. Added logbook missions related to the battlefields. Okay, clear. Let's go further. We have also here some changes regarding quests, wardrobe, character, NPC, items and this is interesting magical crafting so if you're into crafting this will be interesting for you added new formulas for magical crafting if you are into that check here this part of the patch notes let's go a little bit down some changes to environment ingison gilkmaros also fixes regarding user interface and this part is also interesting so we are getting skill changes for all classes you can see here i will scroll a little bit down there is actually i mean i wouldn't say some huge changes i already checked each change for each class uh, we have some changes in cooldown but we need to see in the game how will everything work out i wouldn't say they have nerf or buff any class that much you can see here lots of changes for some classes but for some classes for example i have seen here somewhere sorcerers they didn't change that much so skill changes are coming for all classes but nothing groundbreaking they didn't nerf or buff any class that much another interesting thing about update 8.3 actually really amazing thing about this new update is that we are getting back sprint character event so this is absolutely amazing event we had that event maybe one year back maybe even a little bit more 
So in short, what is this event about? After you create your new character, level one, you can instantly level up that character to level 80. And additionally, you will get some gear and stigmas. At least that was, it was like that like one year ago and looks like it's the same event back again. So for returning players and for new players in Ion, this is something absolutely amazing. You're skipping that leveling process. Don't worry about that. You will still need to level up your character a little bit up because level 80 is not maximum level in Ion. But come on, imagine that. You don't need to level up your character to level 80. And additionally, you will not be naked when you reach level 80 instantly in one second, right? You will have some gear and stigmas. So this event here, we should have a much more often I have no doubt this would be very good motivation for some returning players who didn't play Ion for a long time to come back to Ion and also for some new players to try to play Ion well just to help to new players to jump faster into endgame. So this event here, sprint character, something absolutely amazing. Regarding live stream, so like I said, I'm making this video in Tuesday and I will upload this video in Wednesday. Today in the evening we have a live stream from Gameforge. During this live stream we will probably find out many more details regarding this new update and we will also find out a release date. I assume that will be this Wednesday, so today when I will upload this video or maybe next Wednesday. I will make sure that you are notified regarding that on my other social media. So this live stream, I hope you have watched it, I will watch it for sure, maybe to get some more additional information regarding this new update. And when I'm already talking about Ion 8.3, I need to mention Ion Classic European release right now at the moment when I'm making this video, still no news regarding that. We still have here on official Gameforge forum this post from Galea's community manager that both Gameforge and NCSoft would like to make Ion Classic happen in Europe and they're still working on it. If I see any kind of new information regarding Iron Classic European release, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. And I think that probably in the second half of 2022, we will finally find out will we get or not Iron Classic in Europe. I hope we will get it because I have no doubt when they would release this version of the game, Iron Classic in Europe, it would be very popular and played because many players are just waiting for this. So that's it for today, I just wanted to show you briefly Ion 8.3, a new update coming to Ion servers in Europe. Like I said, check official website of Gameforge for more details and uh, for this what you can see here in front of you, official patch notes. And uh, what to say except I'll try to play new Arena of Chaos and Arena of Coop and I will let you know how does it feel under the fingers. Let me know in the comments below video how do you like content of new update Ion 8.3 and will you use advantage of new event to level up your character instantly to level 80. If you are interested into MMORPGs, check my YouTube channel for lots of gameplay videos, guides, news and reviews from world of MMORPG gaming with main focus on new upcoming PC MMORPGs. But of course, when I see something interesting is happening with Ion Live servers and of course regarding Ion Classic European release, I will let you know about that. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more MMORPG videos and of course Ion videos in the future. See you soon.